pretty interesting night. Most of the activity that I experienced was up in the attic uh, doing what well, we began to do the mirror experiment. And then we were waiting and then we started to hear things creaking and stuff walking around behind us on the opposite end of the attic. So that would have been the back side of the building. And then when uh, we would heard something, we turned around really quick and we seen an apparition, a dark, like a shadow figure, come up the stairs and then we seen its legs. All we could see is its legs go by and it went by. Like when we, when we made note of it, it hurried up and like disappeared. And then we started hearing all kinds of weird noises over there on the other side of the attic. Of like things scurrying to get away and like hide and not be seen. And we seen something on the other side of the attic and we seen things like poking out, like leaning and looking around things on the back side of the attic. It was all opposite side of the attic from where we were sitting. So it's a burst of about 20 to 30 seconds of just like pretty much extreme just things can like happening all at once. And then nothing. I seen at least three or four. Same. One it was to like, the left, one to the right, and then like two behind like the It was like one, one over in that room like where the angle is. Mm -hmm. One right by the chair underneath the... Uh, chimney. Uh, yeah, the right ladder. there. And then on the other side of the chimney, and then off to that room that was way over there that we couldn't Both even see. Both extremes, and then two in the middle. Yep. Did they look like they were different sizes at all, or did they generally look the same? That, I mean, maybe you couldn't tell. I think they looked like adults to me. Yeah. It was a big enough, like, shadow where it seemed like an adult. And not only that, but we even heard, like, the shuffling footsteps. Yeah, we were They didn't shuffling. sound like little kid footsteps. Little kids, it's like, and just like but it was like footsteps yeah. like, over, like, a dirty, like, someone, like, dusty floor. Like, if uh, someone was, like, dragging their heels when they were walking a little bit. What, yeah. what happened? Did you see this as well? He saw some the, of it. The one I saw, that I thought I saw, looked to be, like, hunched over as it was walking. You know, and I don't know if you're familiar with the way that ladder where it comes down. Yeah. And then behind it, there's that straight brick column. It looked like it came and went from right to left behind that column. And then it looked like it peeked out one time, you know, to take a look at us. And then that was it. But when I saw, it, it, it looked like like it would be somebody old who's hunched over, you know, it wasn't standing straight up like a human figure. It was more like you saw the back to the shoulders, you know. I got the feeling like that it was like coming up to check out and getting get close to us. Like the feeling we had the first time we were in the attic, I did at least, that yeah. something was coming up to check us out. We couldn't see anything. It was pitch black and we kept hearing noises. Well, what I saw was when we were looking in the mirrors, your, your mirror was on angle to me where I could see Across. and that's where I thought I saw something in the reflection from the mirror because it was angled perfectly for me to see that staircase, that ladder coming down. So we took the REM pod, number one, yeah. we took the REM pod with us and uh, we first started gazing into this mirror, you know, side by side, we're doing this. And the REM pod, was it before or after when I, when I said switch it up? It was before. It, was, went, it was before. The so pod the REM pod, whoop, it, it went, made this one little noise and it stopped. And uh, we're staring and like right, right away my face began to distort in a strange way. We're seeing weird, the typical strange kind of hallucinatory Strain stuff. experience. But then, you know, it kind of mellowed out. So I wanted to try something new. And I'm like, how about instead of looking at ourselves, because there's two of us, we focus on each other's faces and watch the other person distort and see what we can extract from this visual. Like, somebody else's face that's out of our control. And, uh, I don't know, wasn't it? It was around the time, that time, I think, when the strangest stuff kicked in. What, what did you see? Well... The only thing I saw when we were looking at each other's, because you didn't see anything with my face when you were looking at my face, right? No, it, only didn't. slight things, but nothing dramatic, you know. I, the only thing I saw when I was looking at Tyler's face was like his face 
you know, something that's common when you're really like staring at yourself for a mm -hmm. long time, your face will kind of like disappear because your eyes are like yeah. adjusting and it's like this weird effect where you like disappear. I saw his face like disappear, but then it reappeared. This sounds so crazy. It reappeared, but it was like really tiny. Like his face was like this size. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, your face is tiny. I don't know. It was really weird. So then we stopped doing that because we felt like it wasn't being yeah, very productive. It didn't so seem as effective. We started looking again at ourselves. And I don't think that this had really anything to do with the mirror. But I well, <laughs> I don't know. I guess go, I don't know. On. But um, I, I, started, I started crying. Like I started tearing up and crying. And I felt like... I felt like I was dying and I was regretting my life because I wasn't, I didn't make any good decisions and I didn't love the right people and I didn't do what I wanted to accomplish. And I had to actually stand up and walk away from the mirror because I, yeah. I, like, I, I still feel really emotional Did you have a about choking it. Sensation and as I well? felt like I was choking. Like after I had that feeling, I felt like I was being choked out. And I was like, like, I had to like cough and like clear my throat and like step away. Like you was, were choking or somebody was like choking Like somebody was you. choking me. Like I had a pressure on my throat as if somebody had their hand on my throat. And so I had to actually get up and walk away for a second because it was overwhelming. And I told Tyler, like, I think I'm going to start crying because I feel like I've messed my life up. He's like, you didn't, you're not, you know, <laughs> like you're not, not dying. That's not no. real. Um, so I'm not sure if that was like something like a feeling that somebody had here. I'm sure that was like something that somebody living here and dying here would have mm -hmm. regret and feel like they didn't get to accomplish everything because they had to live their life in a in an asylum like this, you know. I don't know. It was like really emotional, and I don't think I don't. Have you guys ever had any? Witness me ever having something like that happen? I don't ever think I've had anything like that happen to me. <laughs> like I feel like I still feel really emotional about it. Like I what it felt like to me was it was so strong. It felt like a psych a psychic like premonition of my own life. Like that I was seeing myself in the future regretting my life. That's how upsetting it was. I don't know, it was really weird. And so I came back and I calmed down. And then, oh God, I don't even talk about it. I don't even want to fucking <laughs> talk is, about it. It's sound, stuff. I sound crazy. Oh, so I'm looking in the mirror <laughs> and I keep seeing my face like it keeps like, like going back into the darkness and the under eyes, like my, my, like, yeah, like my under eye, this area was like glowing white, like two pairs of eyes. And I kept seeing, like I would see that first, and then I would see this giant nose, like a big, like almost like gorilla, like Neanderthal almost looking person come through. And I told Tyler, and he's like, just keep looking, just keep looking, keep seeing if you see more. And then, I don't know, I saw like the whole face and I just remember, I don't really remember. Like I was captivated by seeing this face and when I was opening my mouth, it's like it was like subconscious, like I wasn't conscious. <laughs> like you're trying to move it? But I could see his teeth. And he had like, like, like a vampire movie, like shards of razor teeth. Weird stuff. So. <laughs> So but like you that, were looking in the mirror and you had something else looking back at you. Yeah. I had something else in my in the place of my face. <laughs> so everyone else. Right. It was like a she says primal. Says Simeon. Simeon look. It's Bigfoot. Seem to well, we up. need to hear what Cindy has to say here. Let me take this. Oh, well, I want a full report. Mine's certainly not as exciting as anybody else. Also about your demons and your haunts. No, well, for one thing, my walkie died. Did anybody oh. ever even say oh. it Oh, our REM pod Sorry, the died. REM pod, that's what I forgot to say. The REM pod, at the end we checked, completely dead. The REM pod completely died. I mean, my walkie died, like, right off the bat. Hmm. Like, right off the bat, it was dead. So I never got the let's start. 
Did you we guys? Didn't either. No, we didn't either. We never, but our, that's why we just oh, started doing our own thing. Oh, strange. Yeah, I'm walking saying, we're just, ready, we're starting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, See, no, nobody got the memo there. To start. That's no, weird. Nobody got the memo. So, yeah, so no, whatever. I just started. And, you know, for a while, nothing happened, I don't think. And then, then it was kind of weird. Um, it kind of looked like, like, half of my face would, like, Looked like somebody else, hmm. like yeah, a different, right. like a different, but only half of it, like half of it was me, but yet the other half it was like trying to turn into uh, somebody else, like a different picture, which was weird, and I could almost feel it in this half of my face, hmm. which is the way it looks you could physically kinda, feel it, yeah, like I could physically feel it. Was it painful? But, no, it was just weird. No, it, yeah, it wasn't painful at all. It was just, it was just weird. Just like you could, it, it was just not right. I don't know. It was very strange. What did that other face look like? I mean, I think it was. Was a there woman. any detail? Yeah, it was a woman, but it was, it, it was, it was different. But it was just weird because it was half and half. Yeah. Which was, you know, really kind of strange. And then I would hear noises, you know, here and there hear noises and then that kind of like broke that trance or whatever and then you know when I would start again then it, it reminded me of the other scrying mirror that we did where you start looking old mm -hmm. yeah right and and so it, it was kind of that um and then I swear I heard them come down from the attic it sounded like a stampede yeah that's something I forgot Wait, to tell you you weren't coming down no we, we didn't move from We never looked for Jerry. You watched the like cameras. Yeah, yeah, we heard, we we heard, heard that stampede, that, and I was like, oh, that has to be them. And that's they have to be too. done. And I could hear them talking. The only thing we did up there at the, where the we mirrors were. We just moved the chair, moved the chair. chair. On the chair. 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 I mean, it literally well, sounded like coming down the stairs. the funniest thing is that the closest set of stairs to where you But did you guys hear that? coming down is where we saw the shadows. Yeah, did you guys hear this? What sounded like somebody coming no. down the stairs? That's we just weird. saw what we yeah. saw. It was so loud. It was upstairs. so loud. It was so yeah. loud, I, I literally I, didn't even walkie to ask because right. I was like, that has to be them. And my walkie's dead. That's and super I think, oh, strange. I have goosebumps. Yeah, right. We and also... I, so I packed up and came back here. And they and weren't here. I was here. totally shocked to see both you guys still where, where you're supposed to be. Oh my God, be. I have goosebumps. So Although they had turned so bad their right chairs now. around and were not looking at the mirrors. That wasn't, it was that down time. the stairs sound. Walking yeah, down yeah, the stairs. Like, yeah. Oh man, it was like, it was so there? loud, it was unmistakable. From what I saw, it was almost like the one figure that we saw. It was like, we saw it and it was like a, oh no. And they like yeah, hurried right. down the stairs. So it wasn't like, yeah. a, I'm just gonna briskly walk it, down the it stairs. It was like, like, it's like it came, it's like it came up the stairs and then it turned around and yep. came back down Maybe the stairs. all four of your figures decided right. to go all down the stairs. Maybe we all experienced that, you know? Yeah. We all, it we heard it. We you seen, guys saw it. We've seen figures in the stair, stairway twice. I did, at least. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, so I was really shocked heard to them come in other here so and not find places. anybody. I thought yeah. for sure. I mean, I figured maybe you guys didn't come up yet, but I figured they did for sure. And I figured, you know, it was over. 